Hey everyone, what's up? First of all, welcome to today's video. But second, just so you know, I literally never ever curl my hair. This is a very rare occurrence. I didn't even do this myself, but I just got my hair done today, so that's why it's like this. And I figured I'm not even going anywhere tonight, so I didn't have any way to show off the new hair. So why don't I just film my video now? So today's video is actually inspired by an idea from one of you guys. You guys commented some video ideas on my last video, and I liked a lot of them, and I wrote some of them down. One of them, was this one which is what is in my Disney park bag if you're new to my channel I'm a Disney pass holder I live in Florida so I go to the Disney parks all the time and of course I always take a backpack with me I've seen this video done by other youtubers a couple of times but I haven't actually thought of doing it myself but I'm very excited to film it <laughs> they saw me filming and so they waved me it is one that is very fitting for my channel because I do a lot of Disney videos and I bring a backpack every single time I go to the parks. Well, before I even tell you what's in the bag, I'll show you what bag I use. Yes, I am that basic girl that has a mini Konkin backpack. I don't know how to pronounce the full name. It's like Fall Raven. But the second part says Konkin. That I know I'm pronouncing right. They have bigger ones and then they have mini ones. I have this mini one because it's just like the perfect size to carry some stuff around. I wouldn't want a big backpack. And it's in this color. I don't remember what the actual shade is called so if you are looking to get this one I'm so sorry but it is a brownish brownish tannish color I literally take it everywhere also one more thing I have a very special announcement coming up that I'm going to announce at the end of this video so if you are interested stay tuned and don't skip to the end so we're gonna start at the front pocket here. I have two things in the front pocket because they're the only things that probably will fit in there. But first I have, of course, chapstick. This is something that I absolutely need when I go to the parks because I have very sensitive skin and I guess because of that very sensitive lips. So they're very prone to dry out very, very fast. Chapstick is something that I need literally morning to night, but I use the Burt's Bees one because it's worked the best out of all of them. And I use the medicated one, which is like, it has eucalyptus in it. Eucalyptus is like a healing oil or like a healing what is it, a plant? I don't know. Basically, yeah, it's very healing, and when you put it on your lips, you know the feeling that you get when you put on Icy Hot, like it tingles? That's what you get with this. The second thing is hand sanitizer. Now, of course, with Corona, this is something that we've needed way more now than we ever have before. I did already have my hand sanitizer things from Bath and Body Works before that, so I've just been using them all because I guess I wasn't using them before. But yeah, it is Bath and Body Works, which I know most people say is like 85% fragrance, so sorry, I just, I do bring it with me. The thing is, when you go to the parks, there are hand sanitizer stations literally everywhere, like in every corner and I do use those so I guess this is just kind of a backup one I don't know but it's the cucumber melon scent let's get this focused here so let's get to the main section here so of course I need to have my wallet with me at all times but I always bring my wallet to the park this one is actually one that I got in the parks I think I got it in Hollywood Studios but I think they sold it in a lot of the stores but it is Loungefly if you're a big Disney fan you probably are familiar with this brand because they have a lot of Disney merch like bags and wallets but this is the one that has like the Mickey Mouse Club on it but yeah of course I have to have my wallet with me in case I want to blow all my money on Disney merch or food or snacks or desserts or all that good stuff. The one thing with my wallet though, unfortunately, right now it looks fine, but it's been doing this thing every now and then where you know when like you zip it and the zipper kind of like goes off the track? Yeah, that's been happening with this wallet and I really hope that doesn't mean that it's gonna be like the end of this one because I don't know if they're making this design anymore. So we'll see. I may or may not need a new wallet. So if you have a place that sells good wallets, comment below. Oh my gosh, everyone's talking in the driveway and I'm worried that they're gonna see me. The next thing I'm gonna put both of them together but ibuprofen and tums this is an actual tums but it's like an off-brand version of it i don't know i get really bad acid reflux unfortunately it is something that i've been cursed with and i have not been able to get rid of that it's been a serious problem but yeah basically anytime i eat i get acid reflux so i always have this in my bag when i go to the parks because a lot of the park food starts a fire in my esophagus so then ibuprofen is just i always have it on me in case i get a headache or something i mean i have I've gotten headaches while I'm out at the parks before, so you always gotta have it on you. Something else that I always have in this bag is an extra 
scrunchy. A lot of the time I go out with my hair down. Like I just never put my hair up because I don't like how it looks up. Recently, obviously I found that it's literally impossible to go to the parks with your hair down because um, it's a desert out there. It is like a hundred degrees and there's literally no way that you can survive the day with your hair down, especially when you have long hair like mine because mine is super long and there's just no way. But on any occasion that I have it down, either way, I like to have an extra scrunchie in my bag in case I need to throw it up. The next thing that I love to have in my park bag all the time is a disposable camera. I actually never used to do this, but this is the first disposable camera that I've ever gotten recently. And so I'm starting to try it out. I want to see if I like it. You never know when you're going to want to take a picture of you with friends or just of something that you see in the parks because there's a lot of really cute picture spots or just things to take pictures of. But I've been wanting to do this for a long time now. And now that I finally have one, I've just been taking one anytime that I find the right moment. You can get these developed at like, I'm pretty sure Walmart or something. But yeah, like I said, I've never actually done that before. So I'm still waiting to see how these are going to turn out. I don't remember how many pictures were on it when I first got it, but I have 15 left. So next, of course, I'm always going to want to have sunglasses with me. I do have Ray-Bans. I also have other sunglasses that are just like cheaper ones that I kind of got mostly to take really cute Instagram pictures in. But I do have a pair of Ray-Bans. I keep them in the case. This is what they look like. Oh, look, you can see the ring light in them. I always have sunglasses with me. Lately, it's kind of been hard to wear sunglasses and wear a mask in the park. It just makes me feel too hot and too confined. So I haven't really been wearing sunglasses, but... <laughs> oh, they're looking at me. So yeah, I haven't really worn the sunglasses lately, but it's good to always have them because like I said, it is very sunny and very hot and you definitely want to protect your eyeballs from the sun. This next one is extremely important, especially now with going to the parks and it is something I absolutely never forget ever since I got it, which is a fan. A lot of people have been getting these little fans that it's hard to explain, but there's like a wire that kind of goes around your neck and then there's two little fans that sit here. They're electric ones, so they just like blow air on your face all day and they just kind of sit there. I use a handheld fan. I don't know, I just really like them. I don't think that it's that much of a bother to like have to fan yourself all day. Plus these ones are amazing. I got this one from Japan in Epcot. There's a little store in the Japan Pavilion and they have a ton of these fans with really, really cute designs. And I got this one. It's nice because you can close it up and it fits in a bag perfectly and it doesn't take up a lot of space and it doesn't get bent or anything and then of course my car keys i figured i'd include that in this video just because i do always have them in my bag and i do want to show you guys the stuff that i have on my keys so this is like the wristlet i don't even know what you call that lanyard whatever it is that holds everything i don't remember the name of the brand which is really bad i think it's thread wallets then of course the actual car key the other day when i was at epcot i went into mouse gear and i have been looking and looking for a really good disney keychain and I haven't seen this one anywhere, but I found this one and I am obsessed with it. It's the Sorcerer Mickey hat. When I was younger, growing up, going to the Disney parks, I always loved Hollywood Studios and they used to have a big Sorcerer Mickey hat in the parks. They got rid of it, but it was like the big, why, why am I forgetting? It doesn't it have a name. Maybe it doesn't. It's just the Sorcerer Mickey hat. I don't know, but it's like this giant hat. It used to be like the landmark of Hollywood Studios, but I loved it when I was a kid. Like I was obsessed with it and also Fantasmic. It's the show in Hollywood Studios studios like the big one that's been going on for years that was my favorite show and it still is i mean i love happily ever after but like phantasmic is a close second because it's just been something that i've loved ever since i was a kid and sorcerer mickey is my freaking favorite and then the very last thing that i have on my keys brings me to my very important announce mint which is a green id i'm covering the number because obviously privacy reasons and i'm covering the picture because i'm sorry but it is ugly it is i look like a troll and we're not gonna say any more about that it's not a blue id which is the official cast member id for people who are hired by disney but it is a green id so i'm sure you can guess exactly what's going on here i did announce this on my instagram story so for those of you that do follow me on instagram you guys already know but i wanted to officially announce it on my channel because there are a lot of you that don't follow my Instagram, which you should at Bill Elizabeth. 
But yeah, I am officially a cast member again. I'm not technically hired by Disney. It is third party. And the reason why is because the location is France in Epcot. Basically all of the countries like around the world, the people who work there, Disney isn't in charge of them. It's like a different company. What they're doing right now is normally they have people from that country working in those pavilions in Epcot. In other words, literally no Americans work in those pavilions except for in the America pavilion. That was pretty obvious. I don't know why I needed to clarify that. In each of the countries, like you have to be from that country to work there. Normally, you have to be French, you have to be from France in order to work there, but right now, because of all this virus stuff, they're not having anyone from those countries working there because first of all, they had to send everyone who was working their home, and second, no one can cross over into the US right now to work. So in the meantime, they're hiring people who live in Florida. Thankfully, I was able to find this job. I did find it on Indeed. A couple of you guys actually responded to my Instagram story asking me how I found out about it. It was on Indeed, so it wasn't on the Disney website, but I am a cast member again, and it's pretty much the same thing like you know I still wear a costume I still wear a name tag all that stuff I am working in France it is in food I know that most of you who've been watching my videos know about my whole experience with food and how I was in food for my college program yes I don't prefer to be in food again but honestly I just keep trying to tell myself this is all that there is right now like Disney is not hiring anyone back and it probably won't be for a while I will admit I'm not gonna be fake on my channel like I'm gonna tell you guys the truth and like it is hard like I have had some hard days I've been working there for two weeks now but I have had a lot of hard days and it is difficult especially with everything going on there's not a lot of us working there right now we're literally the only ones running it and we all just got hired I've been trying to be positive I've been trying to push through and I am happy that I'm working in Disney again and hopefully I will find a new position in Disney sometime soon but yeah just so that you guys know it is food and so it's the little quick service place there's a bakery there and then there's some carts outside there's like a wine cart there's the food and wine cart because that festival is going on right now and there's a crepe and ice cream cart for now as far as i've been working there i've worked at the bakery and i've worked at one of the carts so if you're ever in epcot if you're in france don't hesitate to say hi i always love when you guys say hi to me i'm really hoping that once all of this covid stuff clears up they'll get back to hiring and that i'll be able to find a position that i really love and hopefully work up to vip tours because as most of you know that is my dream role with Disney and I would literally do anything to be able to work there But yeah, that is pretty much all the stuff that I typically bring to a Disney park and I keep in this bag If you guys get to this point in the video comment below the one thing that you need the most and you think is the most Important to bring when going to Disney parks So I hope you guys liked this video if you did be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new here Just a heads up next week I'm not sure if I'm gonna be uploading on my normal day, which is Sunday just because I actually will be vlogging it's very exciting. I have a staycation coming up, so get excited, get pumped up. I am staying there for a couple of days, so I don't know if I'll be able to have it done by Sunday, so I may or may not upload, but just so you know, I will be working on that vlog, and it's going to be a good video, so stay tuned. We are almost to 7,000 subscribers, so if you guys want to share this video out or share any of my videos out to anyone who may like this video, who likes Disney stuff, whatever, please do that. That concludes this video. As always, I hope you guys have a great day, and I will see you next time. Bye.